Hey, Tim Schetz here again with C4D Training. Today I have a little tutorial for you on global illumination. When using global illumination, we can light our scene a couple different ways. I have a little scene here set up with just a simple cube, sphere, and a cone. And I've got a plane underneath it to act as my floor. And I've gone ahead and thrown in some lights. Now, my lights are Omni lights, as you can see here and I've got them both set to 54% so they're not terribly bright. So if I go ahead and render this, hmm, that's not terribly interesting, but we're not using global illumination yet. So let's go ahead and add global illumination to our scene. So we'll come up here to the render settings and we will come to our effects and add global illumination. And we'll just leave it at the default settings for now. Go ahead and close that, come back up here and we render it and we see our familiar global illumination rendering and there we go. I mean, it, you know, it looks okay, still looks pretty flat. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my lights. So these little dots here, this, the first one on the top determines whether or not it will be shown in your display. And the second one down determines whether or not it will render. So when you first click them, they turn green, which means that they are on. Click them again and they turn red, that turns them off. So they won't be seen in the scene or in the render. So we're going to go ahead and do that with both of our lights. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and add a sky. And I'm going to create a material for that sky. Open my material. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the color, but turn on the luminance. And I don't really need specular either. And I'm going to dial up my brightness of my luminance to say 200%. And go ahead and close that. And now if I drag and drop that onto my sky, and I'm going to go ahead and add a compositing tag to my sky. So Cinema 4D tags, compositing. And I'm going to turn off scene by camera because I don't want to actually see that. I just want it to illuminate my scene. So now when I click on render, you can see it's really, really, really bright. So let's go ahead and dial down our luminance here. So we'll bring it down. Let's try it at 100% and see what happens. And so we go up here and we hit render again. There we go, it's not as blown out. Now you can see we're kind of starting to get some more realistic sorts of shadows. So that's another way you can do it is you create a sky, create a material with luminance on it and throw that onto the sky. And then it's kind of a really even sort of lighting Another way to do this, I'm going to go ahead and delete my sky. You can also create some planes. And I'm going to drag my plane up here and I'm going to apply my luminance material that I made to my plane. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to my top view so I can see where my planes are. And then this guy over here, maybe make it a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. So again, holding down the control key and dragging my plane. And then I'll bring this guy over here and maybe back, uh, maybe back a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to rotate them so they're kind of angled in towards my objects. So I'm just going to kind of rotate them to about 45 degrees. It's like my other plane. Rotate that guy for about 45 degrees. So now if I go back to my scene, see how I can see my plane there. If I go ahead and render this, Kind of creating like a soft box light, um, like you would see in a studio. But I wouldn't want to actually see that and probably move it around a little bit here. So I'm going to move this guy maybe this way and this way, and then I'll make him a little bit wider. So he's covering the scene there. So now if I render this again. So we really don't want to see the soft boxes in our scene. So we'll go ahead and we'll select both our planes and we will right click and say Cinema 4D tag. You can't see this, but over here, the, it'll be in alphabetical order. We go to compositing and then we come down here and we take off scene by camera. And let's go ahead and while we're at it, we'll increase the luminance here. 
on our material. Let's, let's actually try 200 this time and see what happens. So I'll go ahead and close that and render. Here we go, kind of looking a little bit nicer. I'm going to switch to my top view and take this guy and just kind of scooch him forward a little bit more and maybe make him a little bit longer. So when we're back in our display window, our light box is in the way and you know it makes it hard to work. So we can go ahead and turn them off just in the display. Leaving the lower dots alone will make them render and so they'll still light the scene and they'll still do what we want them to do. Another way to do this, if we go ahead and delete our planes, I'm going to go ahead and delete our lights. And I'm going to go ahead and put my sky back in. If I move my window out of the way here, this little button opens up the presets for Cinema 4D. And if we scroll up here, you can see it's under presets, Cinema 4D, materials. And as I scroll down, there's an HDRI folder. HDRI is high dynamic range image. It contains a lot more information than your standard image. You can actually use these images to light your scene. So if I click on that, we can see all these different uh, scenes. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and pick, let's do this room here. And I'm just going to drag that down into my materials and close that window. And now I'm going to apply that to my sky. As you can see back here in the background, that image is showing up. And again, we don't really want that. So if I bring this over here, I right click, go to Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, Scene by Camera. And now I can't actually see it. So close this back over. And now if we render this, the scene is lit by the light from that image. It's as if this, these objects were sitting in that room. If I change that, if I come back up here, and let's select, I don't know, let's select this outdoor scene here. And we'll close that. And we'll just drag that over and replace the material. And we'll render again. And now notice how the light is already, you can kind of tell there's more of a blue tint to it. And that's because it was an outdoor scene where the sky was blue. So kind of a neat way to light your scenes. And if we add a material to our objects, Create a new material here. Um, let's make the color almost white. Hit OK. I'm going to leave the specular where it is and I'm going to turn on reflection. Don't really want it that high, so bring it down to about 12%. And I'm going to increase the blurriness a little bit so that we don't get a sharp image reflection in our object. And go ahead and close that. And now I'm just going to apply this to our objects. And now if I render it again, you can see here, especially in the sphere, so you can see the sun and you can kind of see the tree line and the sky. So you get a little bit of that environment as well with the global illumination when you set it up this way with the sky. Well, I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching and please check in again for our next tutorial. Thanks. Thank <music> you.